Hello and welcome once again back to 16 years now kid free. Right, well I thought I'd do a, a video while in the minimum time that it's not raining. God, I didn't realise how lucky I was last year for having all the dry time that I did. But it's certainly paying me back now. But you find me in a cute little village, and it is a cute little village, of uh, Thornton and Leedale. I actually remember the name for one. And you know, it's got your oldie woldy bitch, got all your craft shops over there. You know, you've got a niche around the corner, the butt pub there. Uh, a war deal, a war deal, bros, bros, okay. That place does a bit of everything. And it's also got a cute little um, nature walk here. So you come here with the little kiddies, you've got something to do. And it's really surrounded by water, and I mean surrounded. And I don't mean because it's raining. <laughs> I mean, it's got all these uh, lovely little weirs that go all over the place. A bit like um, Castleton. And they go all the way up and around the corner. You know, you get to cross over it as well. Wouldn't be surprised if they do that duck racing here. But yeah, that's what I mean. It goes up there, down there, around there. I mean, it's actually surrounded, uh, you know, by water. And then you've got another stream here with a little weir up there. I think that's called a weir, that one. You know, that goes down there as well. And it joins up with that. And you've got this lovely little nature walk. I'm not going to go all the way around it because it's mostly going to start hammering it down again. And you've got all these lovely wooden tons of owls and bits and pieces. Shows all the... Oh, we can even get kingfishers around here. That's something. Oh, we don't want to look over there. It's not doing its business. Oh, my way. And you can go over to the lovely little lake that's over here as well. You've got a little chatting point. I think they imagine they have, like, scalp, you know, little cubs or brownies or rainbows and everything else that you can imagine here. You can even have a ride around here. got a makeshift uh, beehive over there. Not many bees in there though. I must admit. Oh my word. Oh is that right? No, it ain't rain. That's just coming off the trees. And you've got this lovely little lake here where you feed the ducks and whatnot. And don't feed them bread. You know, always try and get some bird seed or something like that. They've got a little duck house over there. How oh, cute is that? Yeah, it's, a, it's a lovely little place here. You know, I'm planning... Well, I was meant to be going into the wilds, but I did fancy a pint. So I went into the Ample Inn, and what a night I had. Absolutely no Oh, that was a big widgety grub you got there. Well, big grub. Big grub for a small bird, you would have thought. Yeah, what a place that I ended up. All the staff were absolutely amazing in there. Some of the locals came in. Fair enough, I stayed a bit later than I was expecting to. And bless him, he even uh, offered to do me breakfast for free this morning. But after being woken up every morning at the place I was staying, they allowed me to stay in the car park, so I just had a really long lie in. And it just goes to say something, doesn't it? The fact that I had a more chilled out, calm and more peaceful morning in William, in a pub car park, than I did for the three nights where I was staying at that Park Rose village. It just goes to say. And um, so, I'm going to go back there, because they do a steak, and I've been promising myself a steak dinner for a fair amount of time. And it does look really nice there, so... That's my plan, so in a little while you'll see me uh, eating a steak. But other than that, like I always say, take it easy, have a great weekend, whatever the weather. <laughs> Keep adventuring, love you, bye.